You love to fish for carp. Have you ever fished for carp? If you haven't, you need to try it because summertime, it's one of the most fun fish in the world to catch. You catch them around most anybody's boat dock. There's carp around just about anybody's boat dock and you catch them basically with a, uh, a little bitty tiny treble hook and you fish straight down for them. You drop that bait down straight on the bottom, maybe a little split shot or a little small weight on it. Go right straight down on the bottom. But what do you use for bait? Uh, it's real simple. You make it at home. You know what it is? Good morning, guys and girls. July 8th, July 8th, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it right now. If you want a copy of this book, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com. You can get them at Bass Pro and Hobby Lobby and Books A Million and Barnes and Noble and Cabela's and just about everywhere books are sold. Uh, if you want it personalized and autographed, uh, I'll be happy to do that for you at jimmyhouston.com and uh, we'll, we'll get you that book right back out to you. It's an incredibly great gift book you want a great gift for somebody under 20 bucks, this is the way to do it right here. It will absolutely change their life for the better. God will see to that. We start out each day with a scripture from the Word of God, a devotion built around fishing, and a fishing tip for every day. Today's scripture is from 2 Chronicles 25, 9. This is stories about some of my favorite kings that was in Israel and Judah. The man of God answered, The Lord is able to give you much more than this. Boy, I love that right there in itself. The Lord's able to give you much more than this. Here's what I wrote. If you've ever been in any kind of competition, in professional fishing, rodeo, racing, any kind of professional sport, you've been in competition, you've lost money, I'm sure, by mere ounces or inches or seconds. Some little thing beyond your control caused you to lose a lot of money if you're a professional. I've lost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over just an ounce or two over the years. We fished tournaments for 54 years. We had a lot of really near misses or close misses or however way you want to say it. I guess a near miss would be a hit. We've lost a lot of money by an ounce or two. We've all had situations in life where we've been stolen from, we've been cheated, we've been swindled, or we just made plum dumb mistakes that cost us a lot of money. Cost us a lot. Cost us a lot of money. Cost us a lot of time, a lot of effort. Don't tell what it might cost you, some of the dumb mistakes that we made. I love today's scripture. As I said, I've seen God perform it over and over and over and over in my life. Here, King Amaziah, which is one of the really good kings, had hired a hundred thousand troops for 100 talents of silver. He had hired a hundred thousand troops. He hired them from another king. How much is 100 talents of silver? 8,000 pounds. <laughs> 8,000 pounds. Almost four tons of silver. The man of God told the king to send that army home. Send them home. The man of God answered, The Lord's able to give you much more than this. Send the army home, for the Lord was not with him using that hired army. He was worried about the money. <laughs> I guess anybody would be worried about nearly eight thousand pounds of uh, nearly eight thousand pounds of, of silver. He's worried about the money, but here's what he did. He followed God's advice. He did follow God's advice. By the way, he won that battle. Yes, he won that battle without that hundred thousand troops. Always remember those first four words, the Lord is able, the Lord is able, the Lord is able. Whatever you might be going through, whatever situation you might be in, the Lord is able. He is more than able. Here's our tip for today, and it's a good one. Talking about catching carp in the summertime, and golly, it's a great thing to do. If you're around the lake, it's got some boat docks, or you have a heated fishing dock or something on it, you go in there and catch some crappie. Oh my gosh, catch a few of those carp. Wheaties, that's right, Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Wheaties soaked in strawberry soda pop make excellent carp bait. Wheaties smoked, soaked in strawberry soda. Pour, pour you some Wheaties in a bowl, pour you some strawberry soda pop in there, squeeze them around, mix that Wheaties and that strawberry soda pop together, and you make little bitty, little bitty sort of dough balls or Wheatie balls that you, you form around a little small treble hook. A small treble hook, you don't need a large one. A small treble hook. Put shot up above it, drop it right straight down. They'll just tick and tick and barely fool your line. It takes a lot of feeling, a lot of learning, a lot of knowledge before you figure out that exactly when to set the hook. When you do, you've got a 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pound carp. The war is on. Not the battle. The war is on. A lot of fun to catch. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, 
I surely love you.